My first book of quantum physics. Sir Isaac Newton. From the 16th century onward, we started to understand the world through science, thanks to people such as Galileo Galilei and Sir Isaac Newton. Why does an apple fall from the tree? Everybody knows that things fall to the ground. Sir Isaac Newton. 1643 to 1727 was the first to answer this question in the scientific way. Based on observations and calculations, he came up with the law of universal gravitation, which explained for Example, why things fall to the ground, why the moon around, uh, revolves around the earth, and why the planets orbit around the sun. He also established the three laws of motion, also known as Newton's laws, which explain how and why things move. These laws can be used to calculate the path of a billiard ball or to know the force or strength that is needed to kick a ball toward the opposing goal line. For centuries, people tried to understand the world from what could be seen and felt. Things that could not be explained in this way, such as the stars or origin of the world, they were explained using myths and religion. For example, even from the top of the mount of a mountain, it's very difficult to imagine that the earth is round or to appreciate the vastness of the universe. In order to reach these conclusions, it was necessary to be daring and to think in a completely different way. Most civilizations believed in gods whom they thought had created the world in created the world. In Hindu mythology, the earth is held up by four eldest fans, which are supported by a tortoise that rests on a snake that eats its tail. For many centuries, most people in Europe were convinced that the earth was flat. The ancient Greek philosophers were among the first two subjects that our senses were not enough to understand the world and that we needed observation, experimentation, mathematics too. In the second century BCE, the Eratosthenes was already to calculate the circumference of the earth. And since and centuries later, Arab scholars Al Far Al Fargani and Al Biruni will do the same. At the end of the Middle Ages, the idea that the Earth was actually round or spherical started to take hold. Most people still believe that the Earth was the center of the universe and the sun revolved around it. But in the 16th century, the mathematician and astronomer Nicolas Copernicus made observations using astronomical instruments to study the sky. His model placed the sun at the center of our planetary system.